so welcome back to my channel I know it's a different setup but um, in my last video I was filming towards my vanity but the light hits directly over here and since the sun's going down I decided to move it over here to the side of my room um, so yeah today I'm gonna be filming a products I've used up slash empties video basically I review the products that I've already used up and I just save my trash in a big ass bag and it gets super collective, so I had to do it because my bag was like overflowing and my mom's like, why are you keeping your trash? I'm like, <laughs> I used up two packs of Olay makeup cleansing towelettes. These are super natural and to the point. They're not going to bother your skin since they are for like sensitive skin. They're normal. They don't have like a bunch of ingredients. They take off the makeup super well. They're super wet and that's all I asked for. And I have a bunch of these in my stockpile from couponing. Then I used up a Johnson's hands and face wipes. This is like baby wipes just for their hands and face like it says. But since I used the coupon, I have a bunch of these. And I just use these to um, clean off makeup products off of my hand like swatches and stuff. And these are like two bucks. They're good if you guys don't want to buy regular baby wipes and you want to buy this just to remove your makeup swatches and stuff. So yeah, I used up that. Then I used up a canvas. This is the Cranberry Pearl Bellini Bath and Body Works Home Scented Candle. I've had this forever in my collection. It smells super good, but I'm so over the scent already. It's like clogging my nose. It's bubbly and delicious. A bright blend of sparkling cranberry, sweet pear nectar, and luscious black currant cheers. Um, it definitely smells like sweet pear nectar, and I smell the cranberry a lot. It's super strong though. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever repressage it. Um, I am sick of this scent, so I'm glad I finished it. And yeah. Then I used up a shampoo and conditioner. This is the L'Oreal Paris Advanced Hair Care Power Moisture Hydrating Shampoo. I did not like this shampoo and conditioner at all because it makes my hair super oily, and I have oily hair already. But um, the reason I have this is because of couponing once again. So it's not because like I went and bought a shampoo for more moisturizing hair. It's just I had it and that's the shampoo we're using in my house. Um, wow, the quality is super good here, you guys. I'm definitely going to start filming here way more. Um, so yeah, it's not like I went and bought these specifically to get my hair more oily. It's just I had them there in my collection already. But if you guys have dry hair, try it out because it will definitely bring some moisture back in your hair. Another candle that I used up is the Glade Candle. This one was in like white linen, fresh linen. It smells super fresh. These are only $3 compared to the Bath and Body Works ones. These are super good as well. And if you guys have a small house like me, you don't need like a huge candle because if not, it's going to like clog your nose. And this doesn't clog your nose. But it does smell your room really nice. So I love these. I have a bunch of these Cancale candles in a bunch of different scents just because of couponing. So I will be having these in a lot of products I've used up videos in the future. And I used up the Olay Fresh Effects um, Refresh and Revitalize with Exfoliating Microbees Beam Me Up Exfoliating Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser. I love it. It, do it does what I needed to do. Exfoliate but not that much. It's safe enough to use every single day and it's what I've been doing. I do not break out forever. I mean, I have one pimple here, that, but I haven't gotten a pimple, guys, in like months because I take care of my skin. <laughs> um, I wash it every night, but it's because I had a, a chocolate bar ice cream the other night, like a Dove one. Oh, so good. And I didn't wash my face for like two nights because I was coming home from like late night shifts, super drained. And if I miss one day of washing my face, I get like a pimple. Plus, my period's coming like next week, TMI, but it is. <laughs> So yeah, um, I love this one. It's super good for like the young audience. It's not like the anti-aging ones. But you know what guys, after I'm done using up all my skincare, I'm gonna start buying anti-aging stuff because I don't wanna get wrinkles. Then I used up the eye makeup remover liquid compared to Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. This is the Makeup Magician by the Up and Up Target brand. This is the one that I picked up. It came in a two pack for $7 and one from Neutrogena is about $7. So you're getting way better for your buck. And it works super good. Um, it takes off all of my waterproof mascara. takes off all of my eyeshadow, my winged liner with a cotton round. I use this and I already have another backup in my collection. So once I finish that one, I will be repurposing it again because it's super affordable and it works super good. Then I just used up a nail polish remover. This is the Equate Beauty Quality Guarantee Strengthening and Nourishing Nail Polish Remover enriched with protein and vitamin E. And um, I'm just bringing this product out for you guys to show you that you don't need to use these, these expensive ones because they all do the same job. They do their justice and it takes off my nail polish super quick. I don't have no problem with it. So yeah, this is only like a dollar at um, Walmart. No joke, I swear that I have two of these in every single product I've used that video. It's gross, but I will continue raving about it because it is my favorite toothpaste in the world. This is random hair doing here. 
It is the Colgate Optic White, um, whiter teeth in one week, goes beyond surface stain removal to deeply whiten. It is my favorite toothpaste in the world, you guys, my holy girl, I would never try any other toothpaste because this is the bomb.com. Then I use up the Degree Motion Sense Sexy Intrigue Invisible Solid Deodorant. I always use this up, you guys. <laughs> and every favorite deodorant, I have these. I swear I'm not sponsored by them, but it is my favorite deodorant because my armpits do not work with a lot of deodorants, but this one, it does. So I'm super happy I found the love of my life. Two lotions. The first one is the Sexy Little Things New York Tea Scented Body Lotion. This smells amazing. One of my favorite scents from Victoria's Secret. Super refreshed and sexy at the same time. And this is just the one that they sell at Victoria's Secret. Then I used up a Twilight Woods body lotion with vitamin E and jojoba and shea butter. This is from, I swear that it's empty you guys, it's just like it was flipped in the bag. This is from Bath and Body Works. Super OG, like chill days Bath and Body Works bottles. Um, so I had to use it up and although it's not like a summer scent, I still liked it. And I'm not really picky with my lotions, but I did use it up and get it on my collection because I'm sure it was already old. <laughs> then I used up two perfumes or body splashes. This is these Sexy Little Things New York Tea's Body Mist. It's the body mist that matches the lotion. So I had these both in my purse and I used them both up. Again, very refreshed and sexy and I just applied it every single day. And then my favorite one, you, if you guys, like, no joke, if you guys are, like, OG with me and been with me since, like, my first videos, my favorite perfume ever. Body splash, not perfume. My favorite perfume is Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. But anyways, besides the point, it smells so sexy. This is Victoria's Secret's Very Sexy Touch fragrance mist. You guys, this is the bomb.com. It smells so hot. Like, I just love it. So sexy, I love it. And I used up the Twisted Peppermint Pocket Back from, hand, from Hand Sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. The peppermint, literally, it just smells like a candy cane. I did not like it. I will not be repurchasing the scent. <sighs> And this is old packaging as well because Bath & Body Works came out with like little round ones. They're super cute. So I started with makeup. I don't have that much, but I'm still going to share with you guys. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon um, Bronzer in the Shade Bikini Contest. It is still full to the rim, like literally filled. But first off, it was too orangey. This was like my first like OG days where I didn't know anything about makeup. And it expired in 2012. Three years old. Thank God I've never touched it since like 2012. Anyways, it's too orange for me. I can probably still keep it and use it as an eyeshadow. Actually not because the worst place you want to put expired makeup is on your eyes. So yeah, this will be going to the trash, you guys. Do not recommend it. I didn't even like the shade. I know that they have a shade that's a bronzer shade. Um, I forgot the name, but people use it as highlighter. So I might pick that one up because it was super cheap. So I don't regret like buying it because it was cheap and it was old. So Then I used up my favorite powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 225, finish it to the rim. I already have a backup, my Holy Grail um, powder for coverage, for extra coverage. My Holy Grail setting powder is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Then I use up the Revlon <clears throat> Color Stay Overtime Mascara. I really like this mascara. I don't even think they sell it in stores. I found it a big lot, but it was super good for lengthening. And then I use up two of my favorite liquid liners. This is the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Liner. This is already the second bottle that I've already used up. Um, I'm not going to repurchase it just because I want to try out different ones. I bought the Maybelline um, one that looks just like this. I haven't tried that one out yet. And then I used up the NYC Liquid Liner. This is just the regular one. I like to use this one to applicate it because it's much easier than a, a wand like this. And this I like to just go over the line with it because it's super, super black, you guys. Um, so yeah, this is like around 10 bucks, and this is around $4. I've used them up. I will be repurchasing the NYC one just so my liquid liner can be extra black. And I forgot to show you guys a perfume. This is the uh, Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I loved it. It wasn't my favorite. I got it for Christmas like a year ago, and I used it up just to get it out of my collection. I like the other one by Taylor Swift that it's like red or like maroon. So if I see that like in the holiday sets this year, like at CVS, I will be repurchasing it. But it's crazy how scents... Bring back memories, you guys. Oh my god, that's crazy. That is it for today's products slash empties videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days.